So today I'm making my Breaking the Fast Burger. It's a breakfast burger. You can prep this at home and grill it at your own tailgate. I love Breaking the Fast. A lot of people, when I put Breaking the Fast on Instagram, they're like, oh, I get it. Breakfast, we're breaking the overnight fast. Yes, that's yes. exactly where the word the came word from. Actually so we're hopefully going to do it right now. Jeezy, you're my sous chef. We need. We're going to put some bacon into the burger. So if you could chop up yeah. the already crisp bacon. What? And then I'm going to, yeah, man, it's breakfast. Well, you're putting the bacon, crispy bacon in the burger. In the burger. Not I'm cooking raw it bacon. first, not I raw. Like that. Raw. Because sometimes good. people like their burger not cooked all the way through, but we got to cook that bacon all the way through. So that's why it's going down like that. Into my three quarters of a pound of chuck. Some Hungarian paprika. Yeah, Where did course. you get that? Oh, from your no, pantry? I like yeah, I got it from the pantry, Jeff. <laughs> All right, now, usually... At this point, Sonny's pantry is only just Hungarian yeah, paprika. Yeah, that and chips With and cereal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your spice counter. A nice good pinch of salt. Usually it's about a teaspoon per pound, so three quarters of a teaspoon of salt will handle this. I can eyeball that. Not so much, though, because we've got a little bit of pepper, I mean, a little bit of bacon going in. Some black pepper. And then, GZ, just throw that bacon in the bowl right here. I mean, that can't be bad right I'm going to mix it up. Look at that chop. Beautiful. Nice and toothsome. What else you need? All right, so I'm going to get you and jalapeno off the grill really quick. I'm going to show you how I like oh. to mix my meat. I usually take the less dominant hand. I'm left handed. I take the right. I make pitch fork. And yeah, then I just kind of. that, right? Yeah, I just kind of move it in circles until I feel like everything is mixed. It was like maybe eight turns. And then you're going to have it. And then have that again. This is going to make four balls. Mm. And what I like to do with those is put them right there on a little tray. Put them on the grill. I got a uh, cast iron grill over my direct heat. Smart. I Be love the cast iron grill I love it, going right? on the grill. And it's the griddle side of that. You get all the good flavor of the beef staying in the beef. Exactly. Now, we're cooking all these recipes here, these tailgating recipes, on a gas grill. But you can easily use the portable grills that are really popular at tailgates, the gas-powered, or even the electric grills that they now make that you can plug into a cigarette lighter Which in your really car. Which are really amazing. Yeah, or yeah. if you go to the grocery store, you can buy, like, the little aluminum foil yeah. grill that's got aluminum stand, and it's, like, five bucks. You use it once, throw it away. All right, so. Once my grill here, it's easy I'm gonna get that uh, pepper out I wow. told you about. We're using one whole jalapeno pepper for four of our sandwiches here, or burgers, so it's not gonna blow your lid off, chop everything. Oh, that was really cute with the hilt side of the actual knife. You're getting the stem off. That's very Iron chef -y of you. Please leave you the skin. You want the skin? Yeah, I want the skin. I want everything. All right, so I've already got some right Careful. here on the griddle. What I like to do is drop the balls down. And then give them a nice smush. You gotta smush them. Jeff, you've done this. I love it. It's my technique, and I, I, I live and die by it. I think it makes better burgers. It really does. Plus, you need to smush it because it's gonna seize up and tighten up on you and get a little bit smaller. We wanna make sure that we're smushing away. All right, let me hold that over. Nice oh, char. Man, look at that yeah. char over here. I smell nice it. Nice char. I love the crusty bit. I love a crusty, crusty edge of a burger as well. Nice char. Wow. All right, so flip those, and then I like to put a little bit of Asiago cheese slices on. Nice funky cheese, too. We smelled yeah, that earlier. It talks to you. All right, so those are on. While that's gently melting, because we don't want it to completely melt to where it's covering the griddle and not the actual burgers, I'm going to bring off our bread. Ooh, I'm gonna wrap that for you. Yeah, it's really hot, GZ. Don't mess with your gentle fingers. All right? You can do this with tongs at home, but I've got asbestos hands. So these are just ciabatta rolls. I went to the uh, grocery store, bakery side, got the ciabatta rolls. You oh. go to the dairy section where they got the butter, and they've got that butter that's already herbed garlic. It's already made for yeah. you. You can use it for, like, garlic bread. And what I do is I slather both sides of the ciabatta roll, but mm -hmm. the very top of the ciabatta roll, I hollow out a little bit of that bread because nice. something needs some space. I'm going to tell you about that something in a second. So I'm going to make a dipping sauce or actually a drizzle sauce. Either way. Some hot sauce and some maple syrup Love because that. this is breakfast. Oh my god, I almost forgot. Yeah, it's breakfast time. My dad used to always make burgers out of ground sausage. I mean, it, it makes sense. A, a yeah, sand, a, a breakfast you know. burger, ground sausage. Yep. It all makes sense. All right, so now that our cheese is melted, get these bad boys off the grill. Smells great. 
<laughs> I love, I, I mean, I'm really salivating right now. I know it's breakfast, but my mind's thinking burger. But I'm wondering how you're gonna finish the breakfast portion of this. Oh, and I have a feeling I know what you're you gonna do. You already know. All right. Get this plate. Oh. Build it up for you. So remember, look at that. We've already got flavor built in. Store bought. Come in here. Give yourself a nice little patty. Gonna come in here with a quick little drizzle of our maple hot sauce. Oh man, that cheese, that cheese is funky. It is funky, That's right? You're not gonna forget about it. A little bit of our jalapenos. That's gonna light up the lot, that cheese. <laughs> My eyes are watering. I love Asiago. I was then raised you're on Asiago. You're gonna light up the lot after you. Exactly. And then it's a the pièce de résistance. Oh, there they! I you knew it was it. coming. I'm I knew it was coming. On it, baby. Uh, Cheval. Yes. AKA wow. the Cheval of it all. We gotta cut that. Get that. Get run. the egg on Get that it. yolk run. A little bit more of this drizzle. Drizzle. You know you need a little pinch of salt on the yolk. Some black pepper. Oh man. Dude. And then, just like I love, you put the top on it, you got a little bit of that bread scooped out so the yolk doesn't immediately collapse. And then you just go in, GZ. Oh, you are going to be messy. I'll get this out of your way for you. Pick it up. Now, GZ, I can cut it for you. I was gonna say, but can the I? yolk is yes, please. please. I, I like I like to use the ciabatta too, because it's like the it's English muffin-esque. Yeah, as it's well. airy, you know. Makes you feel like you're doing something other than a burger, oh, you know? Mm. There you go. Woo! That's hot. hot. Don't hurt yourself. This is real, it's real what are you, RTC? RTC, real time cooking. This is this is what we do here. Oh. Oh my god. You okay? How's your dentures? <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. Everybody say no. I've made Walker jokes for five years now. I mean, it's true. I'm gonna need one. Talk to me, Jeezy. I'm gonna need half of that. Talk to America. The ciabatta is everything. Yeah. The butter you put on is right after that. And the crunch. I heard it. It really, it just lends a whole, you just, you could eat just this bread, it's so delicious. But then that maple, that hint of chili, and the chopped charred pepper, yeah. just perfect. The steak and cheese, this is just, an amazing start to breakfast. Go team!